Okay, I was finishing out a vlog just now, our vlog for this week, and so I'm in the same thing today that I was in my last vlog because this is actually the same day. <laughs> we just <laughs> received our butterfly garden in the mail through Amazon. So this is how it comes in the mail. If you watch my last video, you will know, but this is what it looks like. Perishable butterfly garden. I ordered it a little over a week ago, maybe like a week ago. I was really worried they were gonna come in the mail and they weren't gonna be alive. We're good. There's five caterpillars. They're all moving right now. They're all alive. So I opened up this box and inside came the most important thing. Let's do that first. Here is the little cup. It looks like a little urine sample cup from the doctor's office, but it is actually a cup of caterpillars, as you see on the top. And there's five little caterpillars in there. They're pretty small. They're slowly moving around. Uh, and you can also YouTube this company. It's called insectslore.com. The very top right here. That's the website. And okay, this is so cute. I just noticed what this was. It's a butterfly observation journal. So you can literally do, moms probably order this or people to do um, at home for homeschooling. Or I, I guess teachers could order this for their classes too. Maybe they do. This is really cute though, all the different, JJ's not gonna do this, he's only two. But then at the back, this is a butterfly raising certificate awarded to, and then you put the kid's name. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, and you can cut it out. Yeah, JJ's not gonna know what any of that stuff is. He won't care about that. He's gonna care about these. Let me read these instructions to you guys. So this is a quick guide, and I love how there's pictures and everything to explain. I'm a visual learner, so <laughs> I like pictures in my instructions. Grow your caterpillars is number one. So handle the cup of caterpillars gently. Place the cup upright indoors and away from sunlight or drafts. Keep the lid on the cup. Do not touch your caterpillars. Maintain a temperature of 68 to 75 degrees. And then watch carefully. Your caterpillars will shed their skeleton several times as they grow. And then number two is see them become chrysalids, which I know as of as cocoons. <laughs> so after seven to 10 days, your caterpillars will climb to the top of the cup attach themselves to the underside of the lid, and there they will hang in a J shape and shed their skeletons one last time and harden into chrysalids. It says, here's what to do. Wait three days for your caterpillars to fully harden into chrysalids. Do not handle the cup during this important time. Remember an amazing transformation is taking place and then prepare your hub butterfly habitat then, which is this nifty nifty thing. So then when number three is moving your chrysalids to the butterfly habitat, step one, gently remove the lid with the hanging chrysalids from the cup of the caterpillars, the little cup we have. And then step two, gently remove any silk and frass surrounding the chrysalids with a cotton swab. I think frass, I think that's their waste. I could be wrong. I think it's like poop. I have no idea what I'm talking about though. I'm not a scientist. Um, and then number step three is carefully insert the lid sideways into the log, this little thing. So that's where you put the lid sideways. And it's gonna look like this. Boom, take the lid off. Look at the little arrow and the sweet little instructions there, the picture. Love diagrams, okay. Carefully insert the lid sideways into the slot and then place it in the butterfly habitat. Number four, watch the birth of your butterflies. After seven to 10 days, your painted lady butterflies will emerge from the chrysalids. At first, the butterfly wings will be soft and crumbled. The butterflies will slowly stretch and strengthen, strengthen their wings. Here's what to do. Do not disturb the habitat while your butterflies are emerging. Do not touch the newly emerged butterflies. Wait two to three hours to allow your butterflies wings to dry and harden before feeding. And then to feed your butterflies, yeah, you're supposed to mix three teaspoons of sugar with one cup of water, drip a few drops of nectar on your butterfly feeder or on a cotton ball tissue and place in the habitat. So they basically want you to put that sugar water. Here's the little sugar packets. They give you two of these and there's instructions even on the back of them, but you're supposed to mix that with water and then drop it on this little, this is like a spongy surface right here and put that in their habitat too so they can feed off of their little pretend flower or provide your butterflies with a small slice of fresh fruit like watermelon, orange, or banana. 
but we're gonna have bougie butterflies over here. Give your butterflies fresh fruit every day. Do not leave containers of water or nectar in the habitat. Your butterflies may fall in and drown. Good to know. Number six, last step is set your butterflies free. Observe the wonder of your butterflies for a few precious days and then set them free. Remember, butterflies are important members of our environment. Um, anyways, I am really excited about this. So that's what we're gonna be doing. This is day one. And the cool part is, is I don't have to do anything. We just get to watch these little guys grow. All I need to do is make sure that this container doesn't get open or shook by my husband or two-year-old. So please follow us along on our amazing butterfly journey. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna link this below so you guys can grow your own butterflies at home. Hey buddy, I know you just woke up from your nap and you're enjoying your rainbow popsicle, but Look at our caterpillars. You can't touch them, but look. Do you see them in there? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just look at them. Do you see? Wait, look stop. Look. Do you see the little buggies in there? Those are caterpillars. And they're going to turn, in a few days, they're going to turn into butterflies. Can you believe it? You can look at them. Okay. Don't touch it. Hold These on. These are caterpillars day two. I have to hold Collie up because she's fussy. Come here. Let me hold you. This is day two with our caterpillars. And they're honestly already so much bigger. And there's little black specks in there, which is their poop, I believe. But I feel like they have fuzz and stuff on them now. Like... They're not just little tiny brown things. There's there's different colors. I think they're black and green or something, but sorry, I keep moving. I'm out of breath because I'm holding Collie. She's a little grumpy. Huh, it's bedtime. Do you think they've been growing? This is day three. I see more of the little web stuff that's in there. I forget the terminology for all of this because again, I'm not a scientist, but these caterpillars are looking huge on day three, dude. Yeah. There's five of them and they're all still alive. Go mommy. <laughs> Come look at them. Number, don't touch it. You can look at it. Are you gonna show them your cars? Oh, don't touch it. Don't, okay, careful. We don't want to open it. All right, hold on one sec. Oh, how yuck. big they're getting. All five of them are still going strong. That guy's moving. They're like, I can't believe how much they've grown in just five days. It's so crazy. Anyways, day five, that's your update. Okay, this is day six with our fuzzy little friends. Look how big they are, just in six days. And I thought, uh, I think all the little specks everywhere is probably poop. And then there's this one little dot, like right there in the middle of all of them. I thought one of them lost its head or something, but then I remembered on the instructions it said that they literally shed their skeleton. So there's another dot on the ceiling or the roof right in there. So I think they literally just lose pieces of their body as before they get into to transform into their little uh, cocoons <laughs> so, uh, or catalids, whatever they're called. This is so crazy. They're massive just in six days. Okay, we've officially had these guys for a week. It's day seven and they're turning white. I feel like they're slowly gonna start forming in their little chrysalids. This is crazy. JJ, come see. Be very careful. Whoa, look at those buggies. Don't don't open it, we can't open it. We, we can look at them, yes, definitely. <laughs> They're gonna turn it into butterflies. Yeah. All right. Okay, it's day eight, and they are all officially going to the roof. I had to move them into the into the garage. I can't. I'm really tired. You can't tell. Um, I had to move them into the laundry room because it needs to. They need to be in a cool, shaded place, and pretty much the only place. I guess I could have put them upstairs in our bathroom or something, but I, they've been in the kitchen and the on the counter in the corner. And I swear you guys, 
I've lost more weight in the last week than I have in the last month combined. <laughs> I think I've lost like five pounds in a week because I'm so disgusted by these caterpillars in the kitchen. And I feel like whatever I make, I feel like there's a caterpillar on it. <laughs> so if you want to lose weight, don't spend hundreds of dollars on a 30 day Arbonne healthy living lifestyle program or Weight Watchers or anything else. South Beach diet, just buy $40 worth of caterpillars on Amazon and you won't eat. Okay, this is still day eight and I had to show you guys this. I moved it back in here because you can't see in the laundry room. So it's again in my kitchen, gross, I know, but they're hanging from the roof now, most of them. And this one guy in particular, look at him shaking in there he's like already forming into his little chrysalid thing. And when the other ones go by him and touch him, he shakes and that's what it does to, I guess they do in the wild to warn off predators. They like shake so they don't come near them. But look at him, he's totally forming his little cocoon. They hang from the ceiling and do this J shape. So I'm not supposed to touch it because if I touch it and if I touch the container and then they fall, they will basically die in their little cocoon on the ground. So it will be staying in my kitchen again until I get to move them into their home to turn into butterflies. So I guess I'll just continue to lose weight and not eat <laughs> while these fools sit in my kitchen. Ugh, it's so gross, but it's so cool. <laughs> Day nine, I have four of the five hanging from the top now of the case. And again, I can't touch the container because I'm not, um, they might fall, but yeah, there's, I don't know, there's one little guy on the ground. I don't think he's gonna make it. We'll see if he's up there tomorrow, but so far I just have four hanging from the top. Yeah, guy on the ground for sure did not make it, but there are four hanging on the roof now. It's so hard to see with the glare. I know this is not a good placement for this cup, but I don't want to pick it up and move it and have these guys fall off. I don't know if you guys can see these little, little guys hanging up there. That's crazy. It's like they're floating because they form this little web on top. Like this one in front is not even touching the roof. He's literally hanging in a web right there. This is going to be really hard to take this lid off without making them fall. <laughs> And I need to read the directions because I don't know if I'm supposed to take it off today or what. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. Day 12. Yeah. JJ, these caterpillars are doing great. Little chrysalids hanging from the top. Wow. Day 12. I, I want to cup, touch the top cup and spin it. I just can't. Wait, wait. Do you want to see them? Let me lift you up so you can see too, buddy. Okay. No, no. Okay. Jane is having kind of a rough morning. This is day 13 today, and we're gonna transfer the butterflies from the little cup that they're in right now to their cool little butterfly garden, you guys. So here's where it unzips at the top. And we're supposed to put the butterfly, whoops, the butterfly lid in here. That's what they're gonna sit on. And then this we're supposed to put mixed sugar and water to and put little drops of it on here. That's what they're gonna eat off, the little flower. Okay, well, we're gonna go get our caterpillars. Day 13, we gotta move them into their house, okay? Look at the bottom of this, it says butterfly garden. Okay, let's get this. This is gonna be interesting with JJ. I'm gonna try and stay patient, but we need to be very careful with our little caterpillars. Um, okay. Hold on. Okay guys, oh, they're really moving. So they're supposed to move to warn off Ooh, predators. So they're kind of shaking. Them. Them. You can look at them, just don't touch them, okay? Don't touch, don't touch. You can look at them. There's one of them that's not moving at all. So I hope See? on the roof, the one on the ground. Stop, stop, careful. I'm gonna show you right now. So we're supposed to leave this, buddy. Yeah! We're supposed to. I'm gonna go and turn that for a little no! bit. No! 
can say sorry. Sorry. Okay, we don't hit. Can I have a kiss? No. Okay. Daddy, watch okay. Daddy. Okay, we'll watch something in a second. So I'm supposed to transfer this lid onto this and put it onto this thing. This on this and then put it in here somehow with JJ running around. And we're supposed to use Q-tips to get rid of all the, what they call it? Grass or something like that. Sorry, no, this is a horrible angle. I'm trying to get everything in it. It's hard. So I just want you to see what's going on with this so you can watch. Okay. Here we go. Where's your car? I'm putting Where's my your washer truck. Uh, you ready? We're gonna open this up. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. I can't get it. Oh. 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 Watch out. Watch out. They're looking at us. See them moving because they're trying to warn off predators. Uh, bye. Oh my gosh, I can't get it off this one. Oh no. Uh, There's butterflies in there. Okay? Okay. I think we have two alive, honestly, guys. I think these two, because they're moving. Okay. I don't see any action from the other ones. Back. We're going to take this butterfly container, and we're going to put it in our house. Okay, it's going to go right here. Hold on. Hold on. Don't touch it. Let go. So they're going to go in there. It's in the house now. Their little butterfly home. See? I still look at them. Um, okay. Let's go make their food, okay? We gotta put food on here for them. Okay! Okay, come on, let's go. So they gave us two packs of sugar in our container. Yeah. So I mixed a pack of sugar with a cup of water in here, it. and they gave you this little dropper. Okay. Hold on, Betty, to drop the sugar water on here. And I don't know how many days, more days it's gonna take. Probably like a couple for these guys to turn no, into butterflies. No, no, no! Shh, don't be too loud, you're gonna wake them up, Betty. Look, we're gonna put it on their, their little flower. We're gonna drop, drop, drop all the water, sugar water for the butterflies on here. Sweet, sweet, a sweet, a sweet. All right. I got a sweet. Okay, crooked camera. This was quite an experiment today, you guys. <laughs> Day 13. They're still hanging. On the little thing. I think if you look from the left going over, there's one, two, and then there's one kind of like sideways. I think that one's probably dead, and I think the one to the far right is dead too. I don't know, I could be wrong. I move these guys up to the guest room because no one ever comes in the guest room, and then they can just sit here and be safe without JJ or anyone disturbing them. But yeah, this is what we look like on. It's really hard to see through the netting, so I just have to do the top, but day 14. Um, movement, I don't see movement. Again, I think the two on the far left are gonna be the living ones. I don't know about the two on the right. It's hard to see through this netting what they're, it's too hard to see in there, and I don't wanna move it, you guys, and, and mess with them even anymore, so. And I was very premature on making their little flower food thing because it's probably all dried up sugar water now so I'll have to redo that for them. I just didn't know how soon they were going to hatch out of their little <laughs> cocoon. Okay, JJ's sleeping. It's the night of whatever day I said it was. I'll put it down below. Anyways, um, we have a butterfly, you guys. <laughs> the third one over hatched or whatever. He came out of his little cocoon and 
I didn't think he was alive. I thought the far two on the left were alive, but not this guy. So there's hope for the other ones. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put uh, sugar water on his little flower now so he has food. I hope he doesn't fly out of <laughs> the cage when I open it. But I just got so excited because it's nighttime. I came in the guest room and this guy is alive. This is crazy. I have three butterflies in here, you guys. One here, one in the back, over down that way, and then, oh, oh my gosh, I scared it. Oh my gosh, that scared me. They're all flying everywhere now. Great. Now they're all going to kill each other in there because, okay, I need to turn the light off. I'm, I think I scared them. Okay. Relax, guys. Sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, anyways, the one guy on the far right over there is still in his little cocoon, so I don't think he made it. Um, but we, like it said on the box, they guarantee three out of the five will live. We got three butterflies here, you guys. JJ went with my, it's the 4th of July today. He um, and Kali went over to my in-law's house with my husband, so... Uh, I've been over here cleaning and just organizing and whatever. That's not important for this video, but I wanted to come check on these guys because I haven't all day. And now I'm like, okay, well they can all fly. I need to let them go today. So they're not just like, oh, great. I think one of them's hurt now. Okay, I'm scaring them. I need to get out of here. Um, I don't, even, I don't even know what I look like, but I don't want to freak out the butterflies. They're going to give each other concussions and then just, okay, it's dark and die in there. <laughs> Sorry. So I want to let them go today. And I don't even know like what time of the day you're supposed to do that or I need to read my, uh, my butterfly manual, but this is day 16. So 16 days, you get them, they grow a ton and make their little cocoons and then hatch within 16 days. So I thought it was pretty cool. I wouldn't recommend this project for two and under because JJ could care less about these things. And when I did want to show it to him, I was like, okay, gentle. And then he'd want to like <laughs> really <laughs> hold the container or the little butterfly kit in there. So yeah, I just, I was a little ambitious getting this, but it was cool, I think for me to see. <laughs> That JJ could care less. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna try and film us letting these things go if JJ gets home in time tonight. I don't wanna do this by myself, it's so lame. <laughs> Just letting the butterflies go. Okay, are you gonna help me? Oh Is it all my them? gosh, yes, JJ. <gasps> Look at the buddy. Please don't scare them. Take out your wubby so you can talk to them. Take out your wubby. Okay, ready? We're gonna unzip this and let them go, okay? You're gonna watch him fly away. You're gonna watch him fly away? Okay. Watch, JJ, watch. Hey. JJ, watch. Here they go. Ready? One, two. Oh, I'm scared. JJ, JJ Fuca. <gasps> oh my. JJ Fuca, do not. I guess that's okay. one way to get that. Leave it on. Just leave it on. Oh, yeah. Buddy? Hey, JJ, JJ. Do not JJ. the butterflies. JJ, They're look. Scared, buddy. JJ, look at the butterflies. Look, they're going bye-bye. JJ, don't squirt me. Squirt it over the fence, please. JJ's Fuca. Hey, hey, hey. I wish this thing opened up all the way. Like, Does it not? No, it only zips like that. Well, it's not. They're not going to bite you. Okay, you don't want to get out next to them, though. Oh, let them out. What? I'm just going to... Just tap gonna... it a little bit. Tap it? Yeah, tap it on the side. It'll go fly out. What if I just like went and got scissors and cut this whole thing open? No, you want to use that again. Just tap it on the side. I'm not. I'm not gonna buy any more butterflies. Oh, so but this is a. a <laughs> each kid gets three. Yeah, this is it. Did you just butterflies are gonna fly away. Oh. Can you be a good listener, buddy? It's gonna be kind of hard to cut. Uh, I can't even. Just, it's fine, baby. Just, just let them go. Here they go. JJ, watch. Here they go. Look, he's trying to go out. Here they go. Okay. Oh, just tap it off. Whoa! A butterfly. Watch the other one. You he's see the other one? There's look, one more. He's look. quiet. He's right. Uh -oh. oh. Does he know how to fly? I think he's scared, JJ. Mm -hmm. 
Get on. Say, come on, Mr. Butterfly. Butterfly. Come on, guys. Uh. Come on, Butterfly, guys. He does not want to fly. So. Okay, I'll just keep him. Just let him chill. So we still have one sitting down there. And then this guy. I don't know if he's like midway hatched or what's happening. I'm kind of nervous to leave. I'm just like vulnerable with this open at night. Okay, I'm just gonna, hopefully this guy takes off soon, but that's the end of our butterfly project. Thank you for watching <laughs> the 16 days with us. Really cool science experiment. I'm going to link this project below. I got this off Amazon, so you can do that if you want. It is called Insect Lore. Woohoo!